Okay. So Koroks can be weaponized. Do with this knowledge what you will. Yeah, that happened. So, welcome back everybody. We're off here with more Tears of the Kingdom. I do not remember where I stopped last time. Alright, my battery died, and then I went into handheld mode to, um... Yeah, to reach the shrine but not do it. So I had a quick way back there instead of having to make my way back there manually. And then I messed around and got some coral rocks and... Oh yeah, upgraded my armor. Did some monster hunting. Let's say upgraded my battery, but no, I did that. Yeah, I did that on screen, on camera. So... What was I doing? Oh, right. I was going to Zora's Domain. That was what I wanted to do next. Shooting star! God, it's already almost three. I am not going to make it to that. How far even is it? Just launch myself from the tower and see if I can spot it from there. Because, yeah, no, no, we, we go for star fragments. We get those. We do not leave those behind. Those upgrade the fun stuff, the other Link outfits. And there's some in-game stuff that star fragments upgrade, too. Not just the other costumes from other Zelda games, but... I don't remember what else it upgraded in Breath of the Wild. God, this doesn't despawn it, does it? Hello. Just, oh my god, there's two? Okay. You can't have two at a time. That's funny that two can fall at once, but... Is there anything of interest on this island? Do I even have the time to take this tiny detour? There's a chest here. Okay, zone I charge. Go, 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 go. No fall damage! Whew! Heck yeah. All right, all right, all right. What do we got here? Some sleepy boys? Why did he... It worked. <laughs> Worth it. Get some sort of free silver horns, heck yeah. Some free healing, yeah. This won't skip a whole day, right? I think it goes to five. Even though it counts morning as four in this game, I think sleeping still goes to five. 
I didn't go to six. Ugh. Goes to five. Okay. So just like a quick 30 minute power nap. Ugh. Okay, we got a royal broadsword with a long throw. <laughs> Shield actually gave it a decent boost. Shield gave it 13? Nice. got a Zora spear from that one guy in between episodes because I broke it. There was nothing else interesting with him or his quest. It was just throw water at him, get a Zora spear, that's it. Great side quest. Glad to know the side quests in this game still kind of suck. Oh yeah, did I... I found that... Was that off camera? Regardless, I didn't do it. Yeah, I think I found that in between when I went back for him. Yeah, because I was also running around that area looking for frogs. For, well, the frog armor. Because I noticed one, and they can be found around there. And I actually got the picture of it, too, so I was using the radar to find more. That Sensor Plus upgrade, it's, it's useful. For when you want to upgrade armor pieces. if any more showed up. And they're at the bottom. Okay, he left. Assuming he's back at the domain now. Pants probably the best for this area. With all the watery spots. Huh. Yeah. Here we go, new cave. Upland Zerona Summit. Oh, I'm full on those. Crap, I should have sold some back at uh. Got landing. Oh well, new cave. Let's go find frog. Okay, well, goodbye to that. Neither are Cobblin on this side had ice fruits. Oh, yeah, I broke my ice, yeah, rod off of screen too, so that sucked. Oh well, at least I still have the ice fruit spear. Not as good, but still handy. Hello.
E, more sapphires. There you are, you bastard. Tower, huh? Yeah. Oh, more splash fruit. Grab it. Ooh. Frog. There you are, you taste little bastard. Another one. Grab it. Damn it, Link. Good job. Alright, no one to the shrine. Wasn't much where my controller died. Uh, just kind of ascend it through the cave and it walks to it. There was a random Zora girl at a small little spot nearby saying that it's the only spot to fish anymore since Sidon's cleaning the uh, water supply here. Yeah, it was like, what, Mifa Court they said this place is? Still find it funny they replaced her statue with Link and Sidon. Next shrine. <clears throat> Midair perch of Iana shrine. All right, these wacky things. Can you move them while they're? Yes. Voila! Is this just a pit? Anything down here? Nope. Check this one. Nope. Chest here. Yeah, cause there's the end. Ah, damn it. 
I don't... I don't think I'm getting back across. Wait. Might have been too long. Seriously, cold milk after a hot shower is just like, oh, it's the best. It's, oh. it's like maximum refreshing. All right, over to Mifa Court. Let's do the Zora storyline. Treasure, treasure. <laughs> All right. Oh, they moved her statue up there. Well, at least they didn't demolish it. At least that Lionel's not nesting here anymore. Keep it down. The prince requires absolute quiet to concentrate on his important work. No. Wait, Link! You came here to see Prince Sidon! Well, since it's you, that should be no problem at all. I'm sure Prince Sidon will be thrilled to see you. Neath the court's purity report, Rivan. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sidon, the water flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Toto Lake and to Dunma is completely covered in sludge. When you want to sneak over there, remember to bring lots of splash fruit. Ah, so nice to see you, Link. Welcome! Are you looking for Prince Sidon? He's literally right there. Hi. Over there, intently focused on his work. I'm certain if Sidon knew you were here, he'd be overjoyed to see you, Link. Now then, please go and see him right away. Green. I think I have them. Yeah, common sparrow. Bop. Nut. Zora Sidon. It's good to see you, my friend. <laughs> Link, it has been far too long. I received word you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? No. <clears throat> to think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. And afterward, you mysteriously awoke on a sky island. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Uh. My apologies. I've actually been wondering if those sliding sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I tasked Azor Historian with investigating ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. 
As for me, I'm not at liberty to leave this spot at present, present as I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. Hmm. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Sora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Hmm. Say, Lake, does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Shato. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possible he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Shato continuing his investigation at Toto Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again for such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Son of King Dorfin, an enthusiastic Zora with a zeal for justice. He selflessly protects the domain with integrity and passion. His older sister, the champion Mipha, fought Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago. Link earned his complete trust when they worked together to save the domain years before. He now considers him his closest companion. And yet there's this bitch. Let it go. You have Zelda. Oh. It isn't the Zora armor. That armor really is perfect on you, my friend. I'm sure it will aid you in your search for Princess Zelda. Yes. Speaking of the lost princess, it's possible that something I know may be of use to you. If there's something you would like to ask me about, do not hesitate to let me know. This is truly a burden. I'm using my ability to manipulate water to separate the clean water from the sludge. If I cease, the dirty water will flow in the domain and everyone will suffer. So I cannot leave no matter what. Anything else? Oh. I've tasked the story Jato with investigating the ruined fragments and history regarding the sky. If you believe Zelda's whereabouts are related to the floating islands or ruins, speak with him. He is currently conducting an investigation at Toto Lake, northwest of here. Hmm. Lady Yona, she is my dearest childhood companion, and much more. She is also my fiance, my intended, my bride to be. There was a time when we saw each other often, but life got in the way, as it does. Time has certainly gotten away from us. Hmm. I recall our childhood days with utmost fondness. And at last, she has come to visit for the first time in a while, and yet... I must admit, I've been a tad awkward around her. And due to the situation at hand, we've barely spoken since she arrived. She has been an immense help in easing our struggle here. I'm so grateful to her kindness. Mm -hmm. Link, it is brutal being unable to help you with your investigation. Still, please do let me know if I make... if you make any headway. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty spot. You know, minus the poison. Frog! Crab! I was wondering who that might be. It turns out to be none other than Link. Look, do you see how much Ploymus Mountain has changed? It now enshrines a glorious statue of Mipha. She looks after the Zora from here, just like she always did. The reason we can adore this sludge is because of everyone's effort, and also thanks to her kind protection. And Rudos Reservoir. Ugh. Nasty. It really is just poop water. Perhaps you've noticed, Order's Domain is literal shit now. You know, it all happened as soon as Yona arrived. I'm sure it's not related at all. Alright, that's just a short walk. Yeah. 
that's a unique chunk of ruin, it looks like. Some monster fort over there. Nasty. Thank you, you little turds. Korok. Korok, Korok. Rock. Tool it down. Ooh, is that a chest? <laughs> Give treasure. Plus ten when I'm wet. Very situational, but oh man, Thor weapons be good in the rain. Didn't seem to be anything else of immediate interest. How close am I? Yeah, to the Tangle Islands. There's some good there. Isn't there like? Yeah, they're completely isolated, their underground counterparts. Ooh. Mother of these. I heard you do just pull them. But, like, just pulling isn't enough. Like, you need some extra force. I weigh it down. Oh yeah. yeah. Just say it looks like the upheaval is caved that cave in, but there's a new one down here. And another chest. But, uh. Shot to one. There's a shrine in here. Throg. Ooh, 
Ooh, big boy. Is that a black or a blue? Blue, finally. First one to see. And that's Metal Grieve. Roasted Michelle, Blue Horn, Roasted Trout. Whoops, ah. Okay, wait, here we go. What even is this? It's just a balled up chain. Spear is the broken after slapping that silver horriblin. Ooh, tinnitus. That's fun. Thanks, ears. Take. Link should still hurt his foot when he kicks chest when wearing bottoms that don't have, you know, toe coverings. Dennis's Shrine.
chest. I've made a mistake. me as well that time. I need to like follow it and be closer when it launches. bombs. <clears throat> May the light of blessing give you the strength that you seek, my boy. My boy. As the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Be an entrance to the depths on these islands somewhere. That's all you give me? Very well. Shrine on them this time, too. Radar's not picking anything up, but really lanky. Yeah, 24 in the rain, which is pretty good. Oh god, I've got too many, um. Hurts in the rain, don't it?
man, you forget how big just even small spots are until you're back on them. This game is sick. Ooh, one of the upgraded ones. Right now I do still have my fire rod. Video is rope. But I could get a replacement. Okay, yeah, that doesn't do shit. Hell yeah. Topped off fire rod. Hey, girl. I'm sure, there's plenty of core rocks hiding around on these cliff edges, but I'll check those later. Flying faster. Who dies? I see you. You son of a bitch. Where the sh old shrine was is gonna be a chasm entrance, huh? Yeah. I'm. You know what? Fuck off. Ugh. Tangle Island Chasm. Which means there's gonna be no light routes here, huh? Which that's gonna be fun. I just put on it. Fuck it. Tooth is it? Oh no, a tooth does make it blunt. Okay. So I can use Bokoblin teeth to mine. That's actually good to know. Oh my god, I'm full on arrows. only way to go. Probably just more zonite up north around here, but hey. That's valuable shit. Um, climb?
Hello. Yeah, give me that zone eye. Okay, well, that's odd. Where did you all come from? Okay. Next. There's gonna be something good at the end of this, right? Has to be. Yeah, for no real light routes in the area. It's pretty well lit. Just 
these random dips. You know, but fucking get over here. Nice and clean. All right, chamber three. Passageways down there. Yeah. <laughs> 
stop. Why does he run from you? Going. All right, well, bye, you know, well. Hi, you know, well. It's just breaking stuff out of bounds. These 999 arrows I have. Might as well. Alright, what's in the final spot here? Feels like a damn trap. And the cap was treasured by a hero who traveled the Great Sea. It flapped serenely in the soft sea breeze. Hell yeah, okay. One waker hat acquired. Ugh. Glad we did now. I just need the pants, huh? I saw the red exclamation mark by him. Guess not. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, wait. No, you're the shopkeeper. Make that money. Oh. 
and the orbs, and we will be on our merry way. An hour in, and finally starting the story. Oh. We're continuing it. <laughs> that puts the demon bow at, like, 40, right? Was it at 38 or 36? It was around there. Yeah, it's at 40 now. Nice. Alright, Toto Lake. That's where we gotta go next. First main story thing that they don't mark, huh? <gasps> you just have a fancy weapon? Or are you an elemental one? I think you just have a fancy weapon. Yeah, you're a silver. You've got a you've got an ice or water rod. Regardless, it's useful to me. I think it's water. Looks like she's glowing. Maybe? Yeah. Ugh. Eh, forget it for now. She was closer to the tower, maybe. use durability. Ooh, chest there. No you for later. Jesus. Oh. 
I'll never understand the ways of historians. Can he not conduct the investigation more cautiously? Oh! Oh dear, I certainly hope that you did not overhear me <clears throat> crumbling to myself like that. It's not as it sounds, really. Uh. Chiazu keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. That makes things quite difficult for me, as it is my job to guard him. And that is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Oh. Right, you see that opening there? Uh. The cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval, and that revealed these ancient ruins. Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Giotto is a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and is completely transfixed by the ruins. Now oh, the place where you get the Zora helmet. Uh, seen better days? Dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary! This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. Last, I cannot decipher it, hmm? Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I've made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate, but still upon its surface there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I'm unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish I could view the full text. Alas, I fear my fins are tied. The broken slate. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. It's right underneath that, uh, sword I found. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. What is this? The stone slate? I can hardly believe my eyes! Link, I must thank you. Incredible, I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes. That which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey to the sky. Mm, though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorfin. I assume he will be returning from his investigation on the sludge shortly. They should just all be part of the Sidon quest. Why does it keep giving, like, separate ones? Stand upon the land, as you view, loading rocks, droplet, mark of the king. Not to mention connection to Zora and the sky, still. Simply do not understand. King. Perhaps we should consult Dorfin. Jack is making a big fuss. Honestly, if I asked him to explain his excitement, a soldier like me probably wouldn't understand. Huh? You looking for King Dorfin? Heard he left a while back to investigate the sludge. That said, I'm not allowed to leave here because I'm on guard duty. Huh. For all I know, King Dorfin's already triumphantly returned.
of these. Learnings of the Zora Part 6. The story of Mipha Court, the conclusion, as told by Prince Sidon. The first half of this tale can be found on another stone monument. If it is not too much trouble, I advise reading that first. I now present the conclusion. When posed the task of naming the storied location, I, Prince Sidon, fell silent. After a time, I timidly proposed the one and only name that came to mind for this place of newfounded peace. I suggest that we name it after my beloved sister, who had long been lost to us. Mipha Court. I worried they would think I was unfairly favoring my own family's legacy by naming it after my kin. A hush fell over the group. After a time, one of the stonemasons raised his voice in agreement. More voices joined his, one after another. The idea was embraced wholly, and the craftsmen all returned to their work. Though the work was grueling, from then until the completion of Mipha Court, the air was filled with laughter and singing. This incident drove home to my very core how much everyone loved my sister. I hope one day to inspire such admiration. If there is ever to be a Sidon Court, I must work tirelessly to earn that honor. King Dwarf and Super Punch and Super Kick. Yeah, yeah. I'm so big and strong. Whoa. Oh no, I got beat. Sledge is so yucky. Ah, oh, you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide it in the secret spot, and that spot is. Hmm? What's up, guy? We're full up on folks who were allowed to play our King Dwarf in game. We can't keep playing with you here, so take a hit and scram. Well then, when I was cleaning the throne room, the children shooed me away. They declared they were playing a secret game and instead vehemently that a, and insisted and vehemently that adults are not allowed. I did hear something interesting about the little game though. Oh. They're allegedly pretending to be King Dwarfin. What's more, it seems they're recreating recent events. It's ill advised to allow them to mess around over there. As an adult I must participate, I mean watch over them. Question is, how do I sneak a peek? I wonder if there's somewhere I could hide. <laughs> I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfin, I'm pretty pleased. Um, uh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster, not by myself. Aww. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfin is hiding, what kind of place is it? <laughs> I know, right? I asked King Dorfin about it once. Ooh. He said it was a pristine sanctumy or something. Aww. Pristine sanctumy. Guess a spot with clear water? Somewhere you can hear your get your tummy clean and stuff. These days, most of the water domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Ooh. Oh, oh. I heard there's clean water flowing somewhere between Ploymus Mountain and the Domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Mm. How cool is that? Oh. Secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water? Huh, that sounds pretty amazing. What? Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Muzu told us we could never ever tell anyone. Oh. It, it's fine, no one's listening. <laughs> anyway, let's go through our game again, this time with feeling. <sighs> Ugh, can't we play something else? We'll just start checking them one by one. Oh, 
Oh, he just does that automatically? Oh, okay. He can fly into it. That's new. Wait. Oh, that's the cave where I got the bandana. Right. Clean water fountain between Ploymus and the Domain. Yes, I'm going to check every damn rock. You might have a real piece. Speaking of rupees. Hello. You tasty bastard. Lake. Wow. Shitty payout on that one. <laughs> Almost didn't notice those damn thorns. That would fucking hurt. It would be quite very unpleasant to my health. Oh dear lordy fucking ow. won't go behind it and let you look this time. Actually, this water falls funky. Didn't it say that I couldn't go up these? Yona's a lying bitch. clean waterfall around here. Hmm. Did I check behind this one? Because Link auto yeeted himself up this one, didn't he? Maybe it's one of those ones on the other side. Huh. 
Oh, it was this one. Damn it, Link. Christine Sake. Is that you? So it is, Link. Hmm? How would you find this place? What a cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold my ever loyal Muzu. You speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. King of the Zora, Dorfin. Uh, hello, Link. It has been some time since last we spoke. I had received word you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Mm. Well, well. To think such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe Princess Zelda simply disappear just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies! Okay, well, glad to see your character growth has fucking reversed. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda. As well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Now oh, the sludge on him, it's like moving. It looks like the gloom almost. Which this stuff clearly is... Related to Ganon, but whatever, or demise. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Rolling islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzo and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. <sighs> King Dwarfin vi valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. <sighs> if word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared in Yasora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zor perspective, one thing is clear. Hmm. It all leads back to the sky. Oh. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, even Princess Zelda. It may well be the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Giotto, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. <laughs> ah, so you've already spoken with Giotto. You say the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored. Indeed, I do know of it. <gasps> the mark of the king refers to Azora King's scales. One of my scales, in other words. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There's no need for restraint. This is nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> King scale times five. Jeez. Sora kings bear this on their foreheads. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle which it's viewed. They were used once in ancient Zora ceremonies. Hmm. After all that has transpired, after much reflection, I've come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of king on to Sidon. <sighs> king Dolphin. Hmm. In any case, this is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the King's Scale. Tell him there's no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. The Zora armor, I see. Then she was able to repair it after all. 
That armor certainly suits you well. You... have earned as much. Still, following this recent debacle of Zelda setting a monster upon King Dorfin, I'm having difficulty believing what you have told me. I do apologize. Hmm. Zelda descended from the sky with a monster. The answers to our mysteries are skyward. As for the Mark of the King, could there be a connection? <laughs> ah, I see you've been reunited with your Zora armor. A fitting garment for a hero of your caliber. Yet I doubt you came here to simply show me your armor. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Whatever knowledge I possess shall be yours. Listen and I shall speak. We encountered her just after the castle ascended into the sky. Uzu and I left to investigate. That's when it happened. She descended. This is the same dialogue. Is that Mark of the King's King Scale? Name Ritual. Don't know how it's used. Ruler of Zora's Domain for the last several centuries. While assisting Hyrule during the Calamity a hundred years ago, he lost his daughter, the champion Mipha. He overcame his sorrow to help Link finally defeat the Calamity. He was recently injured when a figure resembling Zelda set a monster upon him. He's spending time away from the Domain to recuperate. Okay, but the cave marking is here, so that means frog. There you are, you bastard. Oh, there was an entrance here that I didn't notice. Neat. Okay. Warping's probably faster. Damn, I thought we were going to do the dungeon this episode, but... I didn't expect this much build-up to it. Poison rains from the sky. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Ah, <gasps> Link, have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? <laughs> what? You say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster and that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward. We now know that the Mark of the King, written of in the slate, refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is out of the land of the skyfish, and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. Let's be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Man, if you didn't get the map, you would just be left for, like, <laughs> fucking what? A clue about the watery bridge. Yeah, stand upon the land of the skyfish. Behold its lofty view. On the floating rocks, a droplet. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do I have to actually get up there, or is it the land of it underneath? Can I, like, get in this big fucking pile? Link's just immune to this shit, huh?
guessing I can't just jump into that and swim up, huh? Well. It's quite clear what must be done. See batteries, platform, balloon. They're not like a flame emitter around here. Maybe underneath the sludge. I mean, if there's no devices around, what the hell would they put the batteries for? They really want you to just use your own? You know, it produces heat. Does this work? Flame emitters are common enough. I can stop being a stingy bitch. Yeah, I've got 25. Where would it be? Probably like at the end, huh? Of course it would be in the reservoir where Brutal was camped out. Well, that was interesting. 
Yeah, I was right. That's definitely the water temple. Lady Yona, it is too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there's something I need to speak with you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh, hello there, Link. Oh. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Oh. You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared. If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. <laughs> my dear Sidon. I think you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light, as I was just about to say. For a long time, I've been concerned that you were holding yourself back, and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if you and Link join your powers, I am certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true. However, uh? what is troubling you, Sidon? Why are you hesitating so? Hmm. It, it is simply that... Busher of Mipha Court, sludge like. Oh. Hmm. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Hmm. Sidon, we can take care of that water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. Huh. You are right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. Hmm. Link, please, I must ask that you fight at my side once more. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly. We must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Science Aura's charge, she creates a bubble that blocks an incoming attack. If you swing your weapon, it channels into a long range strike. That's not what I expected his ability to be. We need to get up close and personal. Sidon, get over here. Help me! Fuck him up, gang. Did it, Link? Take that, foul beast of the sludge! Is everyone all right? We are unharmed. Mm. Thank goodness, Lady Yona, if something had happened to you. Um, in any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Hmm. Thank you for the sen sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dear Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, of course it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. <laughs> Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not we be blah, we will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Mm. But Sidon, my darling. 
I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough! You are not acting like yourself! You must leave this place to me! Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always do. Yes, yes. It is all right, I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. I see. And there it is, clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once more losing someone I love. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear. Not, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link. To the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. <laughs> it seems Sidon has slightly put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha. My poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed faith in me. At last the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. <laughs> Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. I will protect my man. I mean, your man. <clears throat> your man. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> that is the first time in far too long I've seen Sidon wildly charging in and exclaiming with gusto. That is the Sidon I know. Sir Link, please take good care of him, as I know you always do. You're amazing. <laughs> the way you defeated that monster. Wow. If only it'd been. If it had only been me and Rivon, we might have been in big trouble. Huh. Thank you so much, Link. Mm. Even with all three of us, it really is quite the task to keep the water flowing into the domain clean. Oh. I'm in awe of how great Prince Sidon's power is to have done this all by himself. Least I can do is stay focused. Oh. Lady Yona and Prince Sidon, they look so sweet together, and it seems an unexpected distance between them has vanished without a trace. It is best when those that care for each other are open and honest, even when it's difficult. I believe that wholeheartedly. <laughs> ah, now I must get to work. Alright, me and Shark Husband. Just the two of us. Let's go fuck this temple shit. in there. Over there. What is that? Something resembling a pillar of lights appeared at East Reservoir Lake. Wonder if this too was related to the upheaval. So I just hit up the light. Will Sidon be at one of the piers? The marker is leading me to the damn light. the clue for reaching the sky. Come. Come. Ba -da 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 -da. Just now, what was that? 
Never mind, now's not the time for flight of the fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? <gasps> I have an idea. Damn, he fast. It's just as I thought. I can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in, Link. Boy, zoom in. Well, you found a vast space in the ancient ruins. You may find a clue here. He's just staying up there, keeping that whirlpool going. Okay, and I guess that's a portal up to the temple. The ancient Zora Waterworks. Man, the Water Temple's a lot more uh, work to get to than the other ones. The Fire Temple was just pretty much go there. Wen Temple was a bunch of platforming. This one is like, go on a treasure hunt. And now do what seems to be a mini dungeon. Uh, I guess I just gotta keep breaking those in order as the water level goes up and up. Treasure. <laughs> ah, yay, a shield. <laughs> Wonder if I can even get back down here. So man, Rudo was just standing on top of all of this in the previous game. I guess Rudo was like floating. Rudo also seems to be able to teleport in water. I don't know how those things get the fuck around like they did. What? Where did the Divine Beast go? I, I can see the towers and the shrines like going underground. Alright, 
What weapon am I currently smashing? Jesus Christ. Really? Actually, wait, that's better than this, huh? Yeah, shit. I forgot I had that crappy Boko shield. I picked up between episodes while slapping things. There's one of those collectibles, and there's definitely a way to get back here later. there, but how do I, um... I get under it? Okay, this is pretty much lined up with, um... <laughs> Just about with the pier. Oh, here we go. And there is a Zora sewage system. That's my way up. Let's uh, see if there's any treasure down here first. Okay. So the shields do break. Oh my. Ass. Ugh. six ambers. and choo-choos. Nothing special here.
This is going to be unpleasant. How did he not get washed away by that? Right, if there wasn't a path here, he'd have been trapped. Well, I guess he could have ascended his way back up to the reservoir and then jumped back in. Here we go! Polluted water. Great job, Link. Really fucking banger job, asshole. Oh. A waterfall. A waterfall descended from the sky. Oh. Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Ah, so you activated a mysterious device in the ruins, and then the waterfall appeared. Hmm, I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well-placed as ever. Hmm. Huh? Huh. She didn't chant come. <laughs> come to me. Oh, well, there's the come to me. But was it just come, 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 come? It's happening again. Someone calling to me. What was that sound I just heard? If this, she did do that, I would have absolutely had... I, I was waiting for it, and I was going to have him say, Get in line. Every a lot of people want that, sweetie. <laughs> well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. Link, if you wear the Zor armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. You must acquire said armor from Yona at me for court. Are you just leave me behind? I thought we were going to go together. Dick? I thought we was bros. Asshole. Okay. Sidon's bro card has been revoked. Squad, you're back in. Okay, so that one Zor who said you can't climb the fucking filthy waterfalls, she was just a dirty liar. Okay, got it. The game actually just lies to your face. Oh wow, that bed is still here. Can you still just get free healing here? Yeah. It's such a random bed spot, but hey, it's convenient. <laughs> Entrance to both to the water dungeon in both games, and there's just a convenient little free heal in front of it. Slut. Oh yeah, isn't my picture of you shit? Yeah, it's just your head. There we go. Bats! 
Oh my god, fuck off. breakable shield on you. Master Sword doesn't currently have anything boosting it. Arm. Alright, well. I, that took longer to reach than I thought it would. But next time, we start the Water Temple. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. God, I wonder if the Earth or Thunder Temple or whatever they're gonna call it. Man, I wonder if that one's gonna have as much to get into it. So yeah, next time we shall ascend. But until then, you all have a great evening and take care of yourselves, everybody. Good night. <laughs>